guys what's up welcome back to my channel i am miss lovely and in today's video as you guys see we are doing a quarantine hibachi special okay who needs benihana who needs the hibachi japanese steakhouse downtown who needs that honey we can't have it no way so we might as well bring hibachi to the house okay Okay guys, so what we have here are some white onions, we have purple onions, we have squash, we have green bell peppers, we have red bell peppers, we have portobello mushrooms, we have zucchini, green onions, and eggs. So these are just some ribeyes that I already had and I seasoned those up and I went ahead and cut those in bite sized cubes. And this, this uh, is just some leftover shrimp I had from a previous meal these are shrimp that have already been uh cooked already and you can buy them like that or you can buy the kind that are um uncooked whichever you prefer um the important ingredients as far as sauces are concerned we're going to be using this teriyaki sauce and soy sauce these two are very important components that you will need to make this hibachi and last but not least this sesame seed oil it it gives off a very strong uh, taste so therefore you don't need to really use a lot of it um, because it does give the authentic taste of hibachi style and this is just some yum yum sauce that I previously had and I just popped it out and of course you're going to need rice so what I'm going to do here is just go through and add and start scrambling my eggs and just keep in mind you guys all of the ingredients that I'm using it is very specific and particular to whatever you choose to add and take away um what you see me cooking today is just particularly to what i had a taste for and what i wanted so therefore if you don't want eggs in your rice you don't have to but we like eggs around this house so we choose to do eggs okay so now i'm going to set the eggs to the side and i'm going to start off by using uh, some garlic butter and I'm going to be using this rice that I actually previously cooked uh, the day before. You never want to use the rice the same day that you cook it because it will become very soggy. And you don't want no soggy mess, honey. You definitely want the rice um, to be cooked like previously before. Now you can even cook it like a few hours before, which will still be fine. But this just happened to be the rice that I actually cooked the day before so in this uh what i'll be doing now is uh put a little like i said i already put some butter in there i put the rice in there and i'm going to just sit it there and let it fry up real good i'm going to add my green onions my white onions and then i'm going to add my eggs and my soy sauce in the rice So what I'm doing now is just going through my rice to make sure that all of my grains are covered in the teriyaki sauce. It's really, really easy, you guys. When I say we had a taste for some Chinese hibachi, and of course, all of the restaurants are closed. So I'm like, you know what? Let's bring hibachi to the house. But yeah, so you just want to make sure that all of the grains are covered in the um, in the teriyaki sauce. And you can add your you know your you know you can add some peas in here you can add carrots in here if you choose to um that is also an option if you like more vegetables in your rice um but you know it's very optional you can you know add take away whatever you choose to
also just wanted to make a side note that if you're wanting a softer, more of a sauteed onion, um, no type of crunch to the onion, then of course you can add your onion prior to adding your rice. And that will basically just allow your onion to cook longer. Um, but in my personal preference, I, I chose to put the onion last um, because I like a harder crunch in my um, in my rice from my onions. So therefore, it wouldn't have to cook as long. So like I said, it's all about personal preference. You can add the onions before or after the rice. It doesn't matter. Just long as it's cooked. And you can basically make this meal yours, y'all. It's so, so simple. And it was so, so delicious. Okay, that's all. Okay, and just like they do it at the hibachi restaurant or the Japanese steakhouse downtown, you're going to go ahead and put your rice in a bowl and sit it to the side. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and start on our steak. Um, so, therefore, I'm going to sear uh, my steak with some butter, some honey butter to be exact. I'm going to then, um, I like my steak kind of medium well. I don't like any pink in it. Uh, if it's a pink in it, I prefer like a really thin layer of pink. Um, definitely don't like it well, well done. So I'm just going to saute my steak in this garlic butter. I'm going to add the soy sauce. I'm going to add the teriyaki sauce. And then, of course, I'm going to add just a little bit of the sesame seed oil in there. Because, like I said, that oil is has a very strong taste to it. And it doesn't take much. It just definitely gives you that hibachi uh, taste that we're wanting. Okay, now my steak is done to my liking. I'm going to go ahead and remove that from the pan. And now I'm going to start on my veggies. Now my veggies, I'm going to just, you know, saute the, those as normal to get a nice char on those. Um, it's just, you know, sauteing them up really good. Make sure that I get it really good and saturated with the teriyaki sauce and the soy sauce. And when I get a nice tender crunch on them and then I'll remove them from the pan and that's it pretty much simple very self-explanatory okay Oh my goodness you guys when I say these vegetables were smelling up the house they were smelling up the house do you see that pretty char on those vegetables oh my god and then you guys last but not least we're going to char and saute the shrimp really quick I'm going to remove those um, tails from the shrimp in just a second but these shrimp are very easy to cook because, like I said, they're already cooked, really. I'm just really warming them up and adding the seasoning and the marinades to it. Well, the sauces, rather. Um, just to get it real charred nicely. And that's it. I mean, like, it doesn't even really take six minutes. I mean, two, three minutes tops just to get a nice, you know, char on them. And get them really seared up really good. And that's it. You know, it's, it's really, really self-explanatory for the shrimp.
And you guys, so I thought this would have been a really, really nice meal that I created. Um, I actually was inspired by a few other people that I saw that was bringing hibachi to the house. And I was like, you know what? It is a perfect time to bring hibachi to the house because we're quarantining right now. And it's a lot of places and a lot of things that we could be doing out. But this is the time that we're actually having to be at home spending time with our loved ones. So therefore, we brought hibachi to the house, you guys. And when I say this meal is succulent, it was immaculate. You guys, I put the rice in a bowl so it can get a really nice molding to it. And then I flipped it over and put it in on the plate. I've got my shrimp on there. I've got my steak on here. I've got the yum yum sauce on the corner over here. And then I've got my charred uh, vegetables all nice and crunchy and crispy you guys when I say this is a meal you can definitely make it it was so good who needs Benihana's I mean Benihana's ain't got nothing on me honey and Benihana ain't gonna, don't have nothing on you if you try it you guys when I say you guys should try hibachi at the house you won't regret it it's super super easy um, nothing too complex you can do it if I did it I know that you can too I mean what we what we got to do we quarantining we got number time we got number time and like I said um, you can add away take away you can add chicken broccoli whatever you choose to do so I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, hibachi at home like comment and subscribe bye